Hi, my name is Audrey Watnick, and it is currently the year 2049. The drastically improved technology has been used to develop a working artificial lung transplant. It is an intrathoracic transplant, meaning it functions completely inside of the body. This prototype is about 6 centimeters tall and 4 centimeters wide, and this prototype is a scaled up size model. This tube on the top is the connection to the trachea, where air is inhaled and exhaled. These tubes are the capillaries, and they help oxygenate the blood and collect excess carbon dioxide to be exhaled. These longer tubes are the aortas, which carry blood to the heart. Inside of the lung are the alveoli capillaries, where gases are exchanged between the alveoli and the blood. Our artificial lung transplant helps the sustainable development goal number three good health and well-being. In the last decade, there has been an increase of people on the waiting list for lung donors. When lungs are donated for transplants, there are still complications of recovery of the lung or rejections. Nevertheless, our intrathoracic lung will help keep more people alive because patients in need of transplants will be able to receive them. Is that good? Yeah. So for 